Uh, Siobhan McDonough. Um, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I crave the indulgence of the House for the speech I'm about to make. On the 27th of November, 2021, my beautiful, unique, tough, resilient, successful sister collapsed in front of me and had a, se a series of fits. Five hours later, in University College Hospital, two doctors named Henry told me that they suspected she had a brain tumour, but as this was the NHS, MRI scans were not done at the weekend and they couldn't confirm their diagnosis. Just before Christmas, she had the tumours removed by two amazing female surgeons, Roshin Finn and Anna Muscardi, at the Royal National uh, Neurological Hospital. But this was post-Brexit, so there weren't enough nurses to keep all the uh, operating theatres theaters open, and her operation was cancelled three times. I leave it to yourself to, get, to guess just my reaction to that and how we got that operation in the end. I wonder what my mum, who came here in 1947 to train as the first generation of nurses from Ireland, would say about the NHS abandoning her daughter. I accept my responsibility. All that I want is for the NHS, the cancer research charities, the pharmaceutical companies to stand up and accept their responsibility and to give some hope to the 3,200 people who will be diagnosed with a glioblastoma this year.